Hello my dears. May peace be with you. I hope you are well and in harmony as we come together for a deep spiritual connection. Why do you cry, my beloved son? Why do you feel your heart so afflicted by the pain of adversity? Do you not realize that I, your heavenly father, am always with you, embracing you with unwavering love? I have never stopped thinking of you, not for a moment. I understand each of your challenges, every anguish you carry, every night you lie down questioning the reason for all of this. I come to you in this moment of discouragement to affirm that I am here. I am taking care of you, bringing healing to your wounds, and peace to your restless heart. Remember where you came from, from the abyss from which you emerged. Look at the horizon and see how far you have come. Remember all the times I set you free, all the adversities you have overcome, all the battles you faced, and won. Perhaps in the eyes of the world, you shouldn't be here, but I, your father, have decided otherwise. I declared, this is my son, whom I will exalt. Wherever he places his hand, I will bless. Respond with faith, Amen. So be it. My child, I tell you that your sadness ends today because the one who watches over you never rests. I observe every tear you shed and hear every sigh you release. Rise, for many love you, care for you, and above all, I love you with an eternal love. I am here to affirm that the miracle will happen, that the storm will pass, and the sun will shine again in your life. I assure you that all pain will give way to joy, scarcity will turn into abundance, and everything will flourish. Believe, my child, because your future will be brighter than the darkest of nights. Believe, for I, your God, am with you today and always. I want you to know that your journey does not end here, in this valley of tears and adversities. I have greater plans for you plans of prosperity and not harm, plans to give you a future and a hope. I see your tomorrow, and it is more brilliant than you can conceive. I see the abundance that is coming, the wealth that is about to arrive in your life, the love that is about to fill your heart. I am the God of miracles, the God who transforms lack into abundance, sadness into jubilation, defeat into victory. I am the God who opens doors where there seem to be no way out, who brings forth water in the desert, who turns the valley of tears into a place of springs of joy. I am the God who lifts you from the dust and sets you among princes. If you truly believe, declare with conviction, God is my refuge. I see your pain, I see your debts, I see your lack, but I also see your faith, your persistence your determination not to give up. And that's why I am here, to affirm that your struggle has not been in vain, that your faith will not be disappointed. My child, I am on the verge of bringing new things into your existence, something unprecedented that you have never witnessed before. I am about to open the heavenly windows and pour out upon you a blessing so immense that you will hardly find space to accommodate it. I am about to transform your life so splendidly that when people see you, they will proclaim, Surely, the Lord has been generous to him. If you feel my love, do not hesitate to say, I love you, God. Therefore, do not give up, my child. Persist in faith, in struggle, in waiting, for your reward is coming, and it will be greater than anything you can conceive. I am your God and I am with you. I am your God, and I love you with eternal love. I am your God, and I am transforming your life for the better. Trust in me, for I trust in you. If you believe, express your love by saying Amen. I want you to know that your time of humiliation and scarcity has come to an end. I, your God, I am here to announce that a new cycle of exaltation and prosperity begins. 
I see your battles, your defeats, your debts, but I want you to know that you are not alone. I am with you, and together we will overcome all these adversities. Your pain is not in vain, as it is written in Romans, chapter 8, verse 18, for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Yes, you are facing challenges now, but I want you to know that a greater glory is coming. I am the God of hope, and I want you to know that there is still hope for you. There is hope for a prosperous life, for a future full of blessings and joys. I have wonderful plans for you, plans that go beyond what you can imagine. As it is written in Philippians, chapter 4, verse 19, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. No matter how great your need is, I am greater. No matter how great your debt is, I am greater. No matter how great your pain is, I am greater, and I am here to supply all your needs, to provide you with a life of abundance and prosperity. Write in the comments, I trust in God if you believe in my power to transform your life. I am the God who turns the valley of dry bones into a vibrant garden, scarcity into abundance, humiliation into exaltation. I am the God who lifts you from the dust and sets you among princes. I am the God who accomplishes the impossible. So, lift up your head and face the future with hope and confidence. My child, I want you to understand that your current circumstance is not your final destination. You must know that your story does not end here, in this valley of sorrows and challenges. Have faith, for brighter days are on the horizon. My beloved, I want you to know that I accompany every step you take, every tear you shed, every sleepless night. I know you are going through a time of great trial, where defeat, scarcity, and death seem to be your only companions. But I want you to know that I am with you, ready to transform your life. I am preparing you for a life of abundance, where prosperity is not just a distant dream but a reality within your reach. I am working to reshape your life so that you can live it fully, with joy and satisfaction. As it is written in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. This is my promise to you. So, do not doubt and write Amen in the comments. I know that your current situation may seem insurmountable, but I want you to know that I am with you, ready to help you overcome every obstacle. As it is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I am here to give you strength, to help you overcome every challenge, and to support you every step of the way. I am working to bring healing to your life, to heal your financial wounds, and to restore your economy. As it is written in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 17, but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. I am here to heal you, to restore you, and to give you a renewed life. Write, I love you, God, if you believe. My beloved child, I know that your current situation may seem insurmountable, but I want you to know that I, your father, am by your side, ready to help you overcome every obstacle. I am here to provide you with strength to help you overcome every challenge, and to sustain you in every step of your journey. I work tirelessly to bring prosperity into your life, to heal all your wounds, to free you from all debts and scarcity, and to fill you not only with material wealth but also with spiritual richness. I desire that your family be a refuge of love and peace, a place where each member feels loved, valued, and supported. I desire that prosperity be a constant in your life, that you never lack what you need, and that you always have enough to share with those in need. Therefore, 
I bless you now with healing, with prosperity, and with family harmony. May my righteous right hand sustain you and make you prevail. May my grace be sufficient for you, and may my peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind. I am with you at every step of the way, ready to help you overcome every obstacle. Trust in me, give me your fears, your worries, your doubts, and you will see that I am capable of doing much more than you ask or imagine, according to my power that works in you. Amen. If you wish to continue being blessed, do not doubt for a second. Embrace the infinite blessings from heaven. I invite you to like and activate notifications so you don't miss any of the messages and reflections we share together. I am grateful for your support and hope to see you in our next meeting. May God bless you abundantly. Gratitude.